Welcome to another Fix It Yourself video. Today we're going to look at a Kohler toilet that is continuously running. I mean, you can barely hear it, but it is continuously running, and it's an indication that it's probably leaking. So I'll take the cover off and let's take a closer look and we can have a listen so you can see that it's actually leaking. Okay, now I've removed the cover and what we'll do is we'll get it close and we'll see if we can actually hear it leaking. And what I'll do is I'll actually open and close the valve to uh, help you to hear when it's turning on and off. So I'll be very quiet here and you pay attention, but you can hear it. So you hear that little bit of a hissing? That's an indication that it's leaking. So what I'll do is I'll just let a little bit of water out. It fills up. And then it still hisses. You can hear it. And if I turn this off, you'll hear it stop. Turn it back on, you can hear it again. It's just a hissing. So it's leaking water. And when I turn it off, it stops. On. Off. You can even see it going up. When I turn it off, now I turn it on. So it's leaking water from somewhere, and we're going to investigate why, and we'll see if we can't fix this. So before we get started, just uh, take a moment to get yourself familiar with the toilet operations. Uh, it's fairly simple. We have a, a lever handle here, which when you push this handle, you can see that it's attached to a chain and the chain lifts. This is the uh, new style in the Kohler toilets and other new style toilets, they have this type of arrangement. The older style had the, had the long bar with the float on this end and, and <clears throat> now here the float is over here. So on this side here you have your stem which is your water intake. Water comes up through the bottom there. You have your water connection with your shutoff valve and the water comes up that stem and this is your valve. So you see when this when this goes down when the water when this toilet is flushed this float goes down, opens the water, water rushes in the bottom and there. So let's let's try this. Let's see. Flush the toilet. See the water runs out. The flapper is open. And when you release the handle, closes the flapper. Water is running out the bottom and also up this tube and into and into the toilet. So right now we're filling the tank from the bottom and there's also water that runs, residual little bit of water that runs into the toilet to keep the toilet uh, clean around the rim. And as this tank fills up, the water level will approach uh, and lift, the, lift this float. And once the float lifts up, it'll stop <coughs> the water from coming in the tank. But what happens sometimes is, uh, and why water will continuously run, is two, one of two things. Either It'll get dirty down at the bottom of this flapper here. That's the little yellow thing around the rim. That's the seal, the yellow seal. Either the seal gets dirty or something that allows water to leak in there, so it constantly leaks from the bottom. And, and therefore, if it's always leaking, then this will always continuously run. Other thing that could happen is in here, underneath this yellow cap, you'll see later in the video, that underneath this yellow cap, there is a, uh, a valve you can remove this can't remove it right now with one hand but later I'll remove it and you'll see that this is where the actual actuator is for for uh, stopping which you see now it just stopped so once the water level reaches the top then it, it stops the water so sometimes you can get some debris inside of the uh, the little valve in there and that debris will cause it to continuously leak water down into the tank here and then, and then it will overflow. So that could be a cause of the hissing and constantly running water. So we're going to look at that and then we'll get that uh, fixed up and we'll see if that repair works. And uh, if that all works, then you should be able to do the same thing with your uh, toilet. 
So one other thing that you should note is uh, this little stem here. This is, you can see there's a thing you can put a screwdriver in the top or you can just turn it from the bottom here. What this allows you to do is you can, by rotating this one way or the other, you'll find that you'll be able to adjust where this flow is. And, and by adjusting where the float is, it'll allow you to adjust where exactly you'll stop so that you can get closer to the overflow here. And if you don't want it to fill as much your toilet, you can adjust this so that this, the, the float goes up sooner with the water and, and it stops the water supply from going into the tank. So that's just one other thing you might want to learn and know. Keep in mind that you can use this and you can turn that and make an adjustment. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to remove this cover here. So you just got to kind of grab it and pop it off. You should be able to um, remove this. This is the valve uh, that stops the water from uh, entering through here and into the toilet and also down through here. If I turn on the toilet again, you'll see that it runs out of here. See? And it also runs out the bottom. So if I plug this part, you'll see that it runs out the bottom and also down this tube and into this part, which goes into the toilet. So for now, what we're going to do is I've got the water off. We're going to take this and just give it a quarter turn. And it should remove this valve here. Here, okay, quarter turn, you see that? And that will allow me now to access the underside here. And there's like a rubber. Hard to see here, but I'll see if I can't get this off. There you see, there's a rubber and I'm going to clean that. I'm going to just take a little brush and clean that, make sure there's no debris on that. Sometimes debris gets on there and the debris plugs up. Okay, so this part, I cleaned the underside of this. And the other thing is to try to just get a brush or maybe an old toothbrush and try to clean up this in here just to make sure there's no debris in there. So what I'll do is I'll also take some water and pour some water in that. So I'll pour some water in here just to try to clear all the debris out of there. So that should be nice and clean now. And hopefully that will stop it from leaking. Let's see if we can put this back on now. So it's the same as before. Pop that on there, you see? It's got like a little edge here. Same thing there, a little edge on that side, a little edge on that side. And you have to get it inside there on the same to match. So you kind of get it in there and then turn it a quarter turn. That locks it in. Now that should work. So we can try that now. I'll put all this back and we'll turn it back on and see if it continues to hiss, okay? So now we're going to just let it fill up. You can see it's filling up the bottom. And it's also water coming in here. So we're going to fill that up now and see what happens. And we'll just let that fill. It's almost filled up. Well, great. Hissing has stopped. So we'll take a closer look at that now and see if it hisses or not. And I'll turn the water on and off. Let's get closer. So I'm real close now. And I don't hear any more hissing. So that means obviously there's no more water leaking. I'm going to turn this on and off and you'll see no more hissing. Let's pay close attention. You see? and it's no longer going jumping up and down. Before when I was turning it on and off like here, turning it on and off. And there's no more hissing. So that has fixed the toilet. 
and hopefully you can do the same thing with your toilet and stop leaking water which is a waste of water so this is another great fix thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope it helps you and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching